At Congregation Emmanuel, in every hall are group photos from every class that has gone through religious school. Dating back to the confirmation class of 1945, Dar Helfman religious school graduation photo that will be hung later this year, our Jewish history has created defining moments in our lives. Though many of us have belonged to this congregation since kindergarten, the real journey begins 13 years ago as we lined up for our consecration ceremony. This was our first photo placed on the wall with over 40 students. At that time, each little person received their little Torah as we dedicated ourselves to the purpose of exploring and learning about our Judaism. After this moment, each of us then moved on to third grade classes where we learned the Hebrew alphabet in the famous Aleph Bet Bet call and repeat song. As we sang those letters on that special third grade service Sunday morning, we all wore the same shirt symbolizing our wholeness as a class. Then, another photo was placed on the wall of the synagogue. With our graduation from third grade to fourth grade came the addition of Wednesday afternoon Hebrew school. It was during those Wednesdays and Sundays where we were nurtured in the, tradi we were nurtured in the traditions and rituals of the Jewish people. In fourth grade, we were very excited to participate in the mock wedding. Our class was so large that we had not just a double wedding, but a triple wedding, officiated by Rabbi Walter. Though the wedding was pretend and our dresses had to be returned, their traditions became seared into our memories. These traditions remained as we engaged in dancing, art, cooking, music, and computer classes. Miss Ellie encouraged us to experiment with Israeli dancing styles while we were also taught how to relate Judaism to art. In our projects around bar and bat mitzvah times, we were privileged to make our own yachts. In the computer labs, we played games that helped us learn Hebrew with Mr. Darren. Our Jewish culinary skills, well, not very many skills, were nurtured by Miss Marna and Miss Danzinger, and our musical abilities, again not very skilled, singing along with Miss Shelley. By way of each activity, we were exposed to and taught their to the traditions and rituals of Judaism. Though these experiences happened a long time ago, they bring joyous memories back and remind us of the many traditions that we still feel a connection to this day. Around the times of our B'nai Mitzvah, Wednesday nights turned into Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ms. Wilkenfeld, David Axelrad, Rabbis Haas, Silk, and Walter, as well as various teachers, helped us prepare for one of the biggest milestones in our religious lives. We are thankful for the clergy, teachers, and staff who helped us cultivate our connection to Judaism and spent their time teaching sometimes annoying and inattentive children the culture that has been practiced for a very long time in this community. As we stepped into adulthood, when we led the congregation in prayer and read from the Torah, some of us understood the importance of the moment and for others, the importance and significance became apparent much later. It was important that we each took the step here at Emmanuel because more significant than the festive parties, our training and learning helped us develop a closer connection to our Judaism. We are so thankful that our class was the last to be blessed as B'nai Mitzvah by Rabbi Walter. He has a strong presence in each of our lives and he will never be forgotten. After seventh grade, we only saw each other on Wednesday nights. On these days, we studied for our confirmation and took retreats to discover more about our Jewish identity. We learned how to train horses, and as always, Marna found a clever way to connect that to Judaism. Later that year, in this sacred place in front of the Ark, we committed to retaining the Jewish practices in our lives at our confirmation service. Thus, another photo was placed on the wall. Even though the staff has changed and our class has gotten smaller, this graduating class before you still found a way to connect to our Jewish identities, and it is something that we are proud of. Now, later this year, we will add our last photos to the wall. It will be the, accumula the accumulation of our past experiences at our temple leading up until today. We remember all of the lessons learned that got us here, and we take them forward. The temple was, is, and will always be a memorable and important place in our hearts. I've, I've been asked, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been asked to write a speech about our relationship with the present, 
about our relationship as one collective body of Jewish high school seniors with the present, about something that I'm supposed to assume stays the same even as the moment changes, about something that we assume is static even though the only thing that stays the same about it is that it's always changing all the time, uh, about our relationship with the present as religious school students. I don't know how to write about it, but I know that's okay. Israel taught me that. Poland taught me it's important to know, and Israel taught me there's a lot we don't know and that it's okay, that with few exceptions, because in two days, we'll need to know where we're going to college, and we need to remember what our passwords are and how to eat and how to breathe. There's a lot we don't have to know right now, and that that's okay. That uncertainty is okay. Israel taught me that. Maybe it's ironic that that's the only thing I really know about the present, but I think it's a gift. In the past, I knew that, oh, I identified very strongly as Jewish. I didn't feel much of a connection to it. I would go to Shabbat services because my parents would make me, and I would read the prayers without knowing what they meant, and I would go through the motions simply because I wasn't sure what else I could do. I knew that Jewish perspectives on things as seemingly arcane and mundane as what order to light the candles on a menorah were argued with surprising intensity, and I knew that there were five books of Moses, four questions, things like that. I realized more and more this year that the most important thing was my connection to Judaism, however it manifests, and I know that this year has strengthened it. I hadn't realized how cathartic Jewish tradition can be, to tear your suit half to shreds when you mourn the death of a loved one. I'd always valued Judaism for its flexibility, but I didn't know my rabbis felt the same way. And now I've learned that you can connect it to it any way you want to, in whatever way you want to, that more than any other text or prayer or person can tell you otherwise, you define for yourself what it means to be Jewish. You make your own meaning out of it. Now there's still a lot I don't know about Jewish custom and tradition, but I know how I feel about religious school. I feel like it's been something of a guide for me. Like instead of learning this thing in this class or that thing in that class, religious school helped me find out how to ask about what I learned, helped me learn in less traditional ways than rote memorization or book learning. I know our trip to Poland, Amsterdam, and Israel changed my life, and that it changed it in a totally different way than I expected. I know that mine isn't the only one that was changed. I now know what aloe water is, and how drinking chocolate milk out of a bag really does make it taste better. I know what to do if I hear rocket sirens. I know that Matt Ricklin is a rock and Chris Wondolowski is not. That Michael Duke is the embodiment of empathy and my role model. That Mrs. Marna doesn't like to say the word P-I-Z-Z-A. That my time in Poland and Israel has thus far not only changed but guided how I've lived my life. Now, I don't know how much of this applies to all of us, but I feel pretty confident in saying that our collective experience is at probably at least somewhat similar to mine. That we may not have had a strong connection to Judaism most of our lives and that some of our connections may be stronger than others, but that we now know how to draw connections between our Jewish lives and our other lives, and that that's important, and that because of it, in our own way, somehow, we'll keep the flame burning. I know there's a lot we don't know. I know that's okay, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we learn. We will wake up tomorrow knowing we just accomplished something miraculous, something that the average kid cannot say that they did. We accomplished, journeyed through, and enjoyed some of the best years of our lives with the peers standing around us. Some starting as early as 18 years ago, have truly been through it all together. Not many kids can say that. Not many kids can say that they have made some of their closest friends through attending Wednesday night school these past, what, five years? A journey that truly could not have been done if it were not for each other. Starting in late May, early June, we will all embark on various different journeys throughout the summer. Some of us will be staying here in Houston, Texas, doing much of just hanging out. Some will be working, traveling, and much more. Personally, I will be a counselor at Green Family Camp with a few of my fellow classmates. As summer comes to a close, another journey will begin. This is the journey of college, the start of a whole new world. From as close as here in Houston to as far as New York, or even across the world on a GAP program, who knows, one of us might be doing it. We will be apart from one another. A strong part of what will always bind us together is that Congregation Emmanuel is not just a congregation or a temple to us. It is a second family. Regardless of the day of the week, the holiday, or the year, this place remains a home for us, a place where we are always welcomed back with open, with open arms and smiling faces. No matter how long we may be gone, near or far, there will be nothing but joy when re-entering our beloved synagogue. In college, when majoring in different subjects and participating in various activities, we will retain a common connection of our shared experiences at Temple and a Jewish identity that took shape as Hellman students. Many of us will, be, will choose to be active and enjoy Jewish youth groups, such as Hillel. With Hillel as our Emmanuel away from home, 
I know for a fact we will, we will all feel nothing but welcomed and appreciated when walking through those doors. And when our college years come to a close, I imagine that our connection to this group of kids, our amazing friendships, will not be lost. Our relationships and the learning we engaged in, in at Temple have helped shape our, shape our lives and set our Jewish course going forward. With these years after college, marriage and a family of our own will be put in the picture. A majority of us, if not all of us, um, are confident about raising a Jewish family and a Jewish life. We will keep going forward with our, with our current customs and traditions with our families and the home, along with creating new traditions and finding life partners in the families that we grow. We will attend and, sit our, and send our children to synagogue and religious school, amongst other places such as Jewish summer camps. We have been raised to be good, thoughtful, engaged Jewish adults. And when we wake up tomorrow, we will have the sacred opportunity to contribute to the community what we have learned. Thank you for supporting us along the way. We cannot wait to see what the future holds.